in Luke 6:38, Joan, given it shall be given to you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will men give unto you. For the, with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. So what does this have to do with your healing? You said we kind of forget the two verses before. But love your enemies and do good and lend, hoping for nothing in return. Then your reward will be great and you will be the sons of the highest, for he is kind to the unthankful and the evil. Be therefore merciful, even as your father is merciful. Okay, whatever is given, you're going to get that pressed down, you know, shaking together, running over. If you give out bad words about other people, that's what you're going to reap in. If you speak negative words, you're going to reap in the negative words. There's a whole chapter on that because we've all had words spoken over us that weren't very nice. And so we need to break those words broken over us. They say, well, now that you're divorced, you'll never be used of God again. And that's not what the word of God says. And God says, and when, I, when I was getting all kinds of nasty letters and everything about being in the ministry, having been divorced, and God says, just remember, they're not the ones that called you. I am. And God has used me in absolutely phenomenal ways. But in that particular chapter, we've had words that have spoken over us, like, you'll never complete anything. Don't even try. Um, you, you'll never do it right. And so forth and so on. Who are you to think that you can have your own television program? Okay. And so forth. All these things have been spoken over us. We need to break those off. Well, the, how you break them off is repenting for the words that you have spoken over other people. Like I repent for the words that I spoke over so-and-so. And, -so. and that's sin. Take the sin from me. Put it on the cross, never to be held against me again. And the people that I spoke bad about, I, I renounce those words, and I ask you to bless them. Then, in turn, we have the right to have that broken off of us. People have said bad words about us, and in Jesus' name, I cut those words off. Some need to have what I call the helicopter, but cut those words off in the name of Jesus. And go from there into a supernatural move of God like never before. And say, Father, words have been spoken over me that didn't edify, exhort, correct in love, or confirm. That is sin. Take the sin from them. Put it on the cross. And those words that have been spoken over me are now cut off of me, including what the doctors have said. And so that's how you break free of curses that have been spoken over you, even as a child. You know, like when, when my mom, this is kind of a new revelation last year that God showed me, that I was an unplanned pregnancy. My mom got pre pregnant with me, and she goes, oh, my God, this is the worst thing that could ever happen to me. It turned out I was the best thing that ever happened to her. You know, but at that time... She, it was spoken over me that I was the worst. So breaking those words off of me became the best thing that ever happened to her. My natural father, Charles Hunter, adopted me. But my natural father turned in to be a narcissist and tried to kill my mom. And she left and turned out, in the process of leaving, she was already pregnant. 